As soon as Wendy moved into her new home, she was abundantly aware that the previous and deceased occupant was still there. Although she was terrified to begin with, it wasn't long before she started to feel sorry for the ghost who haunted her home. Shortly after moving into her new home, Wendy woke up one night to see a man in a flat cap standing over her. Wendy was so disturbed by what she had seen that night that she soon began to suffer from night terrors, which accelerated as she began to hear disembodied voices coming from downstairs and see partial apparitions around the house. On one occasion she saw the partial apparition of a man dressed in black trousers and shoes walk past the doorway leading from the kitchen to the garage. One day she happened to mention what had been going on in the house to her neighbours, with whom she had become friends. The neighbours were strangely not surprised by what Wendy told them. They told Wendy that the man who used to live there had died the week before. The neighbours told Wendy that the man who used to live in her house loved his house and garden and really didn't want to leave. But his wife had decided that the house and the garden was too big to handle at their ages and it was time to move. From that point on, Emotionally, he went downhill as he became depressed about the whole situation. One day, whilst carrying out necessary repairs to the roof, he fell off the roof and injured himself. At that point, his wife decided enough was enough and that they would sell the house and move into a flat. The house went on the market and sold quickly. On the day of the move, the man's wife ended up having to call for an ambulance as he suffered a stroke. It was said that the wife was more interested in the removal's van than the ambulance which was about to take her husband to hospital. The move went ahead as scheduled and the husband spent time in hospital then went on to live in residential care for a number of years, never moving into his new home. Wendy feels that after his death it is almost like he has returned to the place which he loved so dearly. She said that she is often aware that he is around and that it is not unusual for her to feel as if he is standing behind her. She also told me that rooms in the house often become freezing cold as the temperature suddenly plummets for no reason. Since being told of his circumstances, Wendy has been able to come to terms with the paranormal experiences she has had in her house, as she understands why he has returned and that he means no harm. Wendy says that she feels guided by him when planting out the garden, which in the past was his pride and joy. Over time she has become so familiar with him being around that she has named him Jim. <laughs>